Good afternoon. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with uh, an acrylic pour today with a difference for me because I'm doing <laughs> no cells today. The cell duct has gone away. So I am not looking for any cells in my work today. So absolutely no silicon. Um, I'm using the Montmartre pre-made little, um, it's pre-made pouring paint. It's, it's got everything in it. Um, so it's just ready to pour. It hasn't got silicone added. So if you do want cells, you add silicone. So these little packs come in all sorts of delicious little colors. I think this one I'm using today is the for rainforest and that one's cosmic. I am going to add a few other colors. So they come in that size, which is a 60 mil or that size, which is the 120. That's, I think that's under $20 and that's under $10. So there you go. All sorts of colors and they're pre-made pouring paints. So today's um, efforts are on my 40 by 40 um, lovely canvas, which I buy boxes of these because they're a really nice size, a good size to sell and um, good, good for doing my videos with. But the request was I absolutely don't want any cells in my work that I'm doing this uh, lady I'm doing this for so here we go <laughs> I said I can't guarantee that I don't get cells but I won't put silicon in it so we'll give it a go and she wants a drag and pour so uh, with negative background she just wants white with those colors so I'm just going to try um, just a few things that I want to just show you is I've, I have um, put my masking tape on the back of my canvas because this is for somebody so I'm trying to keep the back of the canvas as clean as possible. Um, somebody asked me what these little pegs were that they get in canvases. They, when you buy canvases in Australia they come with these little pegs and for a long time I didn't know until my husband and my sister advised me. You see the little... Um, turn this around so it might be little holes uh, little slots in the back of the canvas well these little pegs fit in those slots and you can just push them in with your finger or you can knock them in with a little hammer that I've got a little I just find it's probably enough pressure with your finger and what it does it stretches they stretch your canvas so some people that spray their canvases if they get saggy canvases in Australia these mostly all come with these pegs for you to push in and it, it really stretches your canvas nice and taut and of course these are my giant push pins all uh, the materials i use are in a link down below in the drop down box so um everything's there for you guys if you're in australia if you're overseas there's also a link there um for the Montmartre link I believe um, from as far as what I can kind of tell so I try to provide you with all the information I possibly can so everything that I use I get from the family run business uh, Capriol Shabby Chic and it's an online I find them great service so I'm quite happy to tell you guys about them because they're they're excellent service and they're a family run business like my husband and I are a family run business so I always try to help um, family run business businesses businesses okay what I'm gonna coat the bottom of my canvas with it's um, is just a white that I already have made up in this container so this isn't just the pouring paint that I'm I've gonna coat the canvas with it's just a white that I have made up okay so that doesn't want to play nice and come out the holes because it's already <laughs> sealed up so I will do it the easy way so much easier doing it this way there you go 
done double done 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 you can either spread it out with your fingers or be all posh I'll be posh today and do it with my spatula I like I don't mind spreading with my fingers I quite enjoy it remember treat your session in your art room as your um, therapy session because uh, art rooms are there's the rule is there's no rules it's um, your time your efforts and it's only you that you have to please don't look to please anyone else or take anyone else's criticism of your art it might be your family or friends just do your thing and enjoy that's what it is so don't let anybody put you off just enjoy what you do all good so you can fix up all the edges all nice or whatever um, right at this stage but I wait until I've finished to go round and use any um, paint that's fallen off for my edges usually you know um, so I won't bore you with that in this bit so I will move on what I'm going to do next I probably should just move my canvas out of the way for one second while I load up my cup I'm, I'm going to do a flip and drag so it's I'm just going to use a little cup so as I said I'm not looking for cells I'm just I am using the white so this is a, a bigger one that I get in the white because I love these paints and you don't they're all pre-made like I said so you don't have to do anything to them pre-made up I'm going to just oh I tell you give them a real good shake because um, they're quite highly pigmented and they need a nice shake so what I'm basically looking for in this is almost like a um, marbly effect I suppose well we'll see because I think I've done it a few times tried to not get cells <laughs> it's not as easy as you think you know some people are, their whole mission is to get cells and say they've tried absolutely everything and don't get cells um, that's not been my journey so I don't think I've just poured these in like this I don't know if I want to put the black in this this comes with this particular forest but no oh, I'm going to be very sparing with the black I think because it can really overtake now a color that I do want to throw in the mix to which is in one of the packs or you can buy it separate I want to throw in some Shiraz to give it a bit of Shiraz razzle dazzle it's be interesting to see how this paint comes out actually when it's not had nothing added whatsoever no silicon but if you want cells you add silicon to it and you will surely get them so I'm going to finish off that green that looks like a really pretty pretty flower on top already okay we get this out of the way otherwise I'm sure to knock it over when I'm doing my army movements Ooh, that looks nice so this will be interesting it will be interesting more white flip and drag away flip and drag away oops there we go so that's my canvas all ready to go just grabbing a cloth to wipe me little donnies okay let's do this you good thing I just put a little bit more I can see a little few baldy spots it kind of self levels anyway if you, as long as you've got your paint on a level surface so 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 flipping and dragging hey let's see how I go well oh, okay <laughs> I really did throw that one 
<laughs> Do you know what? I don't think I should have used so much paint. <laughs> no cells, don't sell. And you basically, I'm just dragging it around. Oh, look at those cells. I haven't done anything. Oh, and the cells in the cup. There's no silicone in this paint. So that is strange, hey? Flip and drag. I want some of that pink. What's going on? Well. Well, there's no silicone in it, so it's going to be easy to, um, if you want to, uh, resin, because there's no silicone that's going to interfere with your resin. I might actually take that right off there. Not particularly liking the black in it anyway, so that's gone. That's gone. Got to leave a bit of negative space. That was the brief, but there's not much, hey? It's quite pretty, pretty. She didn't want cells, but there is cells, but it's kind of like a real lacy gorgeousness. So those colours are nice and soft. They're supposed to be rainforest, but they look more coral to me. And very pretty, pretty. Oh, this is really bizarre. So bizarre. Go. Just going to um, use my heat wand is not I just want to see if I can blow some little feathers out I'll probably blow it all off the table but let's give it a go this isn't usually meant for blowing you have it's just uh, heat okay well there was no manufactured cells because there's no silicon in this this was all what the paint did itself and this was actually the brief that she wanted so I'll be able to show her the video to see that I didn't put any uh, silicone so if she would like this um, resin or a nice gloss coat on it then it's not going to be well not that it is ever a problem when I use the Helmar silicon because it doesn't leave any residue but obviously when you do if you do resin things afterwards it can um, be a problem if you've got any kind of oil underneath so I will fiddle with the um, sides but I'll give you a couple of close-ups of this gorgeousness because it is it's simplistic it's easy for a beginner and what better than you can just pour straight out as you've seen straight out of the bottles into the cup and get something that looks quite gorgeous especially lovely having this little bit of negative space okay guys thank you for joining me again thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so please do so um, I appreciate it and it's absolutely free I seek nothing from you guys um, so there's the little little beauty really bit different for me a bit different for me you know I like bright out there in your face um, thank you tell me what you think give me a thumbs up let me know uh, what you think and have you given these paints a go because 
Yeah, it's interesting to find other people's perspective. If you'd like to join me on Facebook, you'll find Acrylic Art by Jilly Q, or you can join our Facebook group and post your um, work for everyone to see and help everybody out. It's a kind and friendly place where we're there to help one another. That's um, Australian Acrylic Pouring Group by Julie Cube and Capriol Shabby Chic. So thank you guys so much. Bye for now.